So one of the main design challenges in a space like this is that it's very long and narrow and there's lots of hard, untreated surfaces everywhere. So if you just install a point source system, point source speakers just kind of spray sound everywhere. And you know, by the time you get to the back of the venue, you're gonna have a lot of reflected sound as opposed to direct sound in the balance of your experience, which is gonna decrease clarity and intelligibility. Also, you're gonna put a lot of sound where there's sensitive microphones, and you're gonna have game before feedback problems. So we needed something like a column speaker to solve a lot of these potential issues. And we needed something a lot lower profile than a full-blown line array in the space. So when I posted pictures of this job online, I got some people messaging me asking about the configuration in the space, because normally with a column style speaker, you'd think that you'd have to put it like on the wall here, shooting back at everyone. That's because normally with column speakers, once you get outside that central beam, the sound gets really goofy. You get a lot of phasing and comb filtering. The high frequency roll off isn't well balanced with the rest of the frequency ranges, so it wouldn't work to put it anywhere else. Uh, but with the ID84, we noticed that the off-axis response, especially in the downward direction, was a lot more consistent in tone. You didn't have a lot of the phasing and comb filtering that you normally hear, and the high frequency remained pretty well balanced until it was obviously at its cutoff point. So in the front of the venue here, we were able to hang the ID84 speaker much like we would a regular line array, so that we're still in the high frequency pattern just enough to have clarity and coverage and we walk forward and you get like out of the high frequency pattern which is nice because then it creates a shadow in the front of the venue here where they have other instruments set up sometimes uh, but once we get into the high frequency pattern as we walk back in the venue and we enter the main beam of the column design the tone remains very consistent as well as the angular distribution allowing for the SPL to remain pretty consistent as well. So we can get all the way in the back of the venue here, we're 80 feet away, and the tone and the SPL of the system has really not changed all that much. It's like a pseudo line array effect. And that's really convenient because it's a singular piece. Uh, it's not a bunch of line array parts. It's easy to hang. It's 33 pounds, uh, very, very low profile. It gets uh, freakishly loud for its size, which is kind of a Nexo hallmark. And what's great about the ID series is that they all sound really similar to each other. So whether it's the column speakers or it's the little cube speakers we put in the transept and back by the organ, uh, we also have some of those in this overflow room here. The tonal transition between different zones of the venue is really, really smooth and we like that.